Hello, welcome. In this video, let us continue with the properties of DDFT. The first one is convolution in time domain. That is convolution time domain in time domain. So the convolution property states that the DTFT of a convolution x1 of n convolved with x2 of n is equal to x1 of e power j omega which is the DTFT of the first signal x1 of n multiplied with x2 of e power j omega. That is convolution in time domain is equivalent to multiplication in frequency domain. Now let us look at the proof. Starting with the LHS that is DTFT of the convolution x1 of n convolved with x2 of n is equal to by definition the sum x1 of n convolved with x2 of n into e power minus j omega n. Now by using the definition of convolution we have summation a over n and summation over m x1 of m multiplied by x2 of n minus m into e power minus j omega n. Now we define a new variable k as n minus m and we also replace n with m plus k. Thus, therefore, the index n for the first summation will be replaced by index k and for the second summation it is still m and we have x1 of m x2 of k multiplied by e power minus j omega into m plus k. In this summation the value of n changes from minus infinity to plus infinity so the index k also changes from minus infinity to plus infinity or varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. So now we can rewrite the summations as follows. There is summation m x1 of m that is grouping all the terms that have m x1 of m e power minus j omega m and then we have summation over k x2 of k e power minus j omega k and which is equal to by definition of a DTFT this one is x1 of e power j omega and the second one is x2 of e power j omega. Thus convolution in time domain is equivalent to multiplication in frequency domain. Next property is, is concerning convolution in frequency domain that is convolution, convolution in frequency domain is, is equivalent to multiplication in time domain. That is DTFT of x1 multiplied by x2 of n, x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n is equal to, so the DTFT of the product x1 of n with x2 of n is equal to periodic convolution of x1 of e power j omega, that is DTFT of the first signal, convolution that is periodic convolution with x2 of e power j omega. The definition of periodic convolution is given by 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi x1 of e power j theta multiplied by x2 of e power j omega minus theta d theta. So this is the definition of periodic convolution. Now in order to prove this property we start with the RHS that is the definition of periodic convolution. So starting with this definition 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi x1 of e power j theta x2 of e power j into omega minus theta d theta and then by using the definition of DTFT, we can write the integral as follows. That is 1 by 2 pi 
integral minus pi to plus pi summation or ends of x1 of n into e power minus j theta n. And the second summation is summation over m of x2 of m multiplied by e power minus j into omega minus theta into m that is dtft of x2 of m but omega is replaced by omega minus theta and then we have d theta. Next rearranging the summations and the integrals we have summation over n's and summation over m's and then grouping all the terms that are functions of theta we have 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi e power minus j theta into e power j theta m by grouping all the functions of theta we have e power minus j theta n and e power plus j theta m d theta and then we have x1 of n multiplied by x2 of m into e power minus j omega m that is this term omega times m now we can rewrite this integral as follows summation n and summation over summation over n and summation over m 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to plus pi e power minus of j to theta into n minus m d theta and then we have x1 of n x2 of m e power minus j omega m clearly this integral 1 by 2 pi minus pi to plus pi e power minus j theta into n minus m d theta is basically inverse dtft of 1 that is this is 1 into e power j theta n minus m d theta so it, the inverse transform is nothing but the delta function that is the unit impulse summation over m and summation over m 1 by 2 pi into this integral basically becomes delta of n minus m since the dtft of delta of n minus m is 1 so the inverse dtft of this so the inverse dtft of 1 is delta of n minus m and then we have x1 of n and x2 of m e power minus j omega m and then by using the shifting property we can rewrite this summation as summation over n's of x1 of n into x2 of n that is m is replaced by n because delta of n minus m is only 1 at n equal to m and then we have a e power minus j omega n and by definition this is the dtft of the product x1 of 1 x1 of n and x2 of n that is this dtft of the product x1 of n with x2 of n hence the property of convolution in frequency domain is proved therefore to summarize convolution in time domain in discrete time domain is equivalent to multiplication in frequency domain and again periodic convolution in frequency domain is equivalent to multiplication in time domain thanks for watching